guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 and if you are new to the channel a really warm welcome to you so we are exactly one week away from christmas and we are going to do an energy check-in to see what is coming in as we start this new week and these are the energies that are coming in as we build up towards Christmas. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through? We're bringing in the Light Seers Tarot to check in to see what's going on with the energy for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. The Twin Flame Wisdom Oracle, what the Romans angels are saying as well and what your Divine Masculine is saying. So thank you, angels. What is going on with the energies for Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines? What is happening with the energy? So starting with the Divine Masculine, we've got that card there and this one and also this one here and that one there. And then for Divine Feminines, we've got this one and this one, this one here and one more here. Okay, so that is for um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And then moving on to messages for the journey. Thank you, angels, for the journey. As we move into this new week, what do we need to know? So we've got this card here and that one. Okay. And then thank you, angels, coming through from the Romans, angels. What messages are coming through? So we've got a message for Divine Masculine and also one more here. And then as well for Divine Feminine. So we've got this one and this one. And then also for the journey. So for the journey, we've got that one and that one. Okay. Right. And then what is the divine masculine wanting the divine feminine to know? What messages are coming through? So that one and this one here. And also this one. And one more here. Okay. So those are the messages that they have for you. So let's see what's coming through. So we're going to start with the journey to see what's coming through. So we've got here surrender. So this is a powerful message. It's time to give it to heaven, to release all blame and pain and surrender the outcome in exchange for peace. So I feel that what you're being asked to do, especially as we're moving towards Christmas, you know, you're being asked to move into Christmas with, with peace, you know, rather than being in the place of worry about the twin, your twin flame journey and, you know, and really being anxious about it because, you know, as we move into Christmas, this can bring in anxiety about the journey, you know, and, you know, thinking, oh, they haven't contacted me and all these things. You're being asked to surrender the outcome and to really sort of release any pain, any worry, about that, you know, about having no contact if you don't have any um, at this time, you know, as we move into Christmas or pain to do with that. Know that your journey is moving forward as it is meant to. There are reasons why things are the way that they are. So release all that and find that peace and move into your Christmas with have, whilst you have that peace, peace within, the more you're having peace, the more you will actually enjoy your time. But if you're in that energy of anxiety and worry, you know, it's just going to make you go into your Christmas with, you know, that energy that's really going to make you not enjoy your time, you know, to yourself or your time to be with family because you are worrying about those things. So I feel that that's the message that's coming through. Surrender, give it to God. This journey is from the creator and everything is being watched over. There's nothing for you to worry about. It's time for you to find peace. And you do that by surrendering the outcome, by surrendering all the pain and the struggle and finding that peace. And then we also have here the now moment. In the now, you have won. Focus on love, move on from the past, make today your goal. So that's a message also coming through, you know, to be in the present moment, to not be in the place of focusing on things that have happened in the past with your divine masculine or worrying about the future. Be in the now moment. The more you can be in the now and finding that peace, the more you are going to enjoy your time, you know, as we move into Christmas. So really work on being in the present moment. When you find yourself getting lost in your thoughts, bring yourself back. 
really be in that energy of checking in with yourself to see where you are because you can sort of see yourself getting lost in those thoughts and you know you bring yourself back to the now moment so i feel this is a message for everyone as we move into christmas to really work on being in the present moment it will help you to enjoy more of your time and it will also help you to find more of that balance and to enjoy you know your christmas in a more of a peaceful way so that's the message that's coming through and then the cards that have come out so we've got here as well for the journey release your ex and it says the time has come to clear your energy so this is a powerful card to come in and what i'm getting is that you know especially as, as we are in this time of christmas you know this is a time of spending time with family so if your divine masculine is in a comic situation this is going to be a time for them to actually see that things are not working you know they will see how unhappy they are how unfulfilled they are at this time where they may be wanting to be with you they're divine feminine but they can't be and you know and they just have quite a stressful time you know you can see with there with that sort of belt around there and sort of their hand, that's like that energy of stress, of just wishing things were different. And that's what I'm really getting. This is going to be actually something that will help them to realize they need to change their situation if they haven't quite got to do that yet. You know, so and it's real, it's a time that's going to make them see that, you know, they need to release this energy that's holding them back from the life that they truly desire. So, you know, it can be you. You may be in the comic situation and you need to change things in your life. And you may be in that situation whereby, you know, over Christmas, you really realize that this is not working for you. And it's time for you to clear your energy by changing this situation. So that's what I'm really getting because it came out for the journey. It's like a message from the angels that this is actually going to be a time for the divine masculine to think about things, to realize what they need to do, you know, and or for you, if you're in that situation, to realize you need to clear that energy from your life. So that's the message that's coming through. And then we also have for the journey, we have trust. And the message is that this situation is calling for you to have faith. So divine feminine, you're being asked to surrender. Give it to heaven. Trust that everything is the way that it is because your divine masculine may have lessons to learn for example this christmas in this situation so that they can be in the place of standing up for themselves and changing things in their life you know and trust that everything is going to work out as it is meant to so have faith trust when it comes to your journey trust that everything is falling into place as it is meant to and be in the present moment so those are the messages coming through for the journey and then the message is coming through for you, the Divine Feminine. So first of all, um, the card that we've got, so I'm just turning this round. So first of all, we've got the Six of Swords energy. And this is that energy of moving into those calmer waters, leaving the worries behind, leaving the things that may be in the mind too much, sort of throwing them off that little boat and, you know, really finding more of that peace. So I feel it's the same energy of that surrender you know, of letting go of the worry, of letting go of, you know, being in your mind too much over the Christmas period and just finding more of that peace. Again, it's the same message for you to have peace, for you to be in a place of flow when it comes to this time of Christmas, to enjoy yourself, you know, to really sort of not be lost in your mind too much, but to have more of that peace. So that's the message coming through. And, you know, if you are in a place of worry and being in your mind too much, work on releasing that and give it to heaven so that you find more of that peace. And then the next card that has come out for you, we've got here the King of Wands. And this is that energy of, you know, your divine masculine being loyal to you. So you're being shown they are loyal to you. They're also in this place of gaining the strength to move forward towards you, gaining the strength to change things in their life so that they can then be able to come to you, gaining the strength, you know, from whatever fears that are still holding them back or strength to change their coming situation that is, you know, sort of kind of keeping them in a place of not feeling free and, you know, feeling tied down and not happy as well. So they're gaining the strength to be able to change things so that they can move forward towards you. 
by you being shown that they're loyal. It's about you remembering that this journey goes beyond the physical. And whatever is going on in the 3D world around this Christmas time, it is all an illusion, you know, wherever they may be. So it's about you knowing that when it comes to the soul level, when it comes to the love between the two of you, the fact that you are that one soul, they are loyal to you. And they are in this process of gaining the strength to move forward towards you, their divine feminine. And then the next card that we've got, we've got the seven of cups. And this is for you. So I feel that, you know, there are some opportunities and choices that you are here to make. You know, it may be you're the one in the situation in which you need to change things. And maybe this time over Christmas is a time for you to really think about what it is that you need to, you know, what choices you need to make. Maybe you're the one who's in the situation where you need to clear that energy from your life. So I feel that you'll be thinking about things as well, making choices for yourself. And, you know, you may be shown things over Christmas that will make you realize that I need to change my situation. And there will be some choices coming in for you, decisions for you to make to be able to move forward. And then the other card that has come out, we've got the wheel and this is that energy of fate and destiny so i feel here you're being shown as well that you know everything is moving forward as it is meant to when it comes to your twin flame journey because your divine masculine is loyal to you and everything will fall into place when it comes to the two of you coming together at the right time so fate and destiny has got this the creator has got this for you so trust the journey the same message that was coming through here, the situation is calling for you to have faith. You're being asked to trust, trust fate and destiny to bring it all in for you at the right time. And then the cards that have come out for you, the divine feminine. So we've got here, this could be the one. And it says you have already met your romantic, the romantic partner you seek. So you know this divine feminine that you've already met your divine masculine, you know, the romantic partner that you seek, that the one that you have all that love for, you know, the angels are saying to you, you've already met them, you know who they are. So trust your journey so that everything falls into place for you at the right time. And we also have here retreat. And it says it's time to disconnect from the world. So I'm getting two messages about this. You know, this is also a message about you maybe needing to retreat during this Christmas time. You know, it can be a time for you to go within, to make certain choices that you may be needing to make for yourself, thinking about what it is that you're wanting to bring in when it comes to your 2024, you know, making that time to retreat and, you know, make time for yourself. You know, I'm taking time off. I'm off work and I'm going to be taking time off the channel as well. That's why I'm working on pre-recording as well this whole week. Really busy with that because I'm taking that time to retreat to really bring my energy back to myself. So I feel that for Divine Feminines, this is a message for you to do that for yourself. Maybe you've got family and, you know, you're doing all sorts of big things with other people at Christmas. But for some, you may just be making that time, you know, you may be spending time by yourself. You know, it's like you're being put in that situation so that you can retreat. You can sort of bring your energy back to yourself. It's part of your journey. So if you, that's the situation that you're in, you know, don't get into a place of sadness about it. Know that it's happening for a reason. It's, help, it's happening to help you to connect to who you truly are. And, you know, and this is a time for you to do so, you know, to even think about certain things that you may be needing to work on and, you know, to regain your power to connect more to your true self. So it's all happening for you. And, you know, in the past few years, I've spent quite a lot of my Christmas time or time around Christmas by myself. And it's something that I've grown to love because it's actually a good thing for me because it helps me to really bring my energy back to myself. So it's not a bad thing if you're spending the time by yourself. And I, I am most of my Christmas, you know, I am going to spend the day, um, Christmas day, you know, during the day with, um, you know, where I'm volunteering. But, you know, all the time around Christmas, I'm mo I am spending that time by myself. And that's that retreat energy that I feel 
that divine feminines are being guided to have. So, you know, it's time to disconnect from the world, to have time for you. You know, it may be time to sleep, time to rest, time to connect with your inner world, time to plan things for yourself for 2024, re re time to review your life and all those things. So it's happening for you. But I also feel this is also a message about, you know, the, the angels showing you that the time for the two of you to come together is coming. You know, you've already found the one that you're meant to be with and you will get the time to spend together. It is coming in. Fate and destiny has got this to bring that in for you. So those are the messages coming through for you, the divine feminine. And then what has come out for the divine masculine? So first card that we've got. So we've got here the ace of pentacles. And the ace of pentacles is that card that is about success coming in things growing that's what i'm really feeling and you know and you're being shown here that your divine masculine they are growing on their own journey things are moving forward you know this is about growth happening within them and you know and success coming in to help them to get to where they're meant to be you know they are going to manage to change things for themselves you know if they're the one in this situation where they need to come out of this situation you know they will have success to do this that i feel that's the message that's coming through here the next card that has come out is the world so you know this is another really great card this is about completion and i feel you're being shown that there's change happening in their life growth happening that completion coming in to help to bring the life that they're truly here to live so they are moving forward towards where they're meant to be you may not be able to see it you may not be seeing it over the christmas period or for some you may do but you know it's about you trusting the journey that's what i feel the message coming through is saying and then you are going to have the time to celebrate you know three of cups i feel for some you may hear from your divine masculine this christmas you know they may be in a place of feeling okay enough everyone's on different parts of their journey okay enough to communicate with you you know to come to you to their divine feminine to bring in that celebration maybe the two of you coming together whether it's online or over the phone talking you know i feel this energy of that change coming in for some and for others they are working towards that the other card that has come out is the sun so this are, these are powerful cards for the divine masculine you know showing you that they are working towards their happiness they are going to have that success they're coming through to a completion to bring in the life that they are dreaming of and of celebrating with you as well their divine feminine and you know and that brings them that happiness so i really feel this energy of you know for some you will hear from your divine masculine around this christmas time you know because they've they are moving forward towards the life that they're truly desiring knowing that you bring them that happiness and they want that for their life so that's the message that's really coming through divine masculine working towards changing their life so that they can be with you their divine feminine and for some actually hearing from them over this christmas break and then the other cards that have come out for the divine masculine so we've got past life relationship you have known each other before and i feel this is what your divine masculine is starting to realize you know as they're growing on their own journey starting to realize that there's a powerful connection between the two of you you know they may be seeing that in dreams they're being shown this and they're realizing that you are the person for them so if they're in a situation where they're still stuck and you know and they are needing to get out of this situation they're going to be thinking about this a lot over christmas because they want more of that life that is meant for them you know they want to be with a person that they've had that past life relationship with where they have that happiness so it's actually the situation they're actually in is there to help them realize that they need to change things for themselves they need to step up and do what's right for them because they're being shown i feel that over this christmas period they're being shown of that powerful connection that is there between the two of you and that's going to help them to change things so they can move forward towards happiness with you their divine feminine and we also have for them you deserve love you are lovable so they are also getting to this place of knowing that they deserve love they deserve the love that they 
truly desire you know that brings them happiness you know with you their divine feminine so they're working towards changing things to come out of that situation of this energy that they need to clear from their life and move forward towards the life that brings them happiness you know towards that life that is truly meant for them so they're learning they deserve love and if they're in that situation that's not making them happy over christmas it's going to show them that they deserve love and they need to change things in their life so that they can move forward towards the life that they are truly here to live because they deserve to have that in this lifetime. Okay, so let's see what messages they have uh, for you as well as we, um, you know, moving into this week. So the first message is, your voice has a therapeutic effect on me. I could listen to you for hours. So this is about them thinking about your voice. If they're, you're not in communication and they're saying to you, you know, I could listen to you for hours. I feel that this is about the missing speaking to you as well. And for some, like I said, you know, I'm getting this energy of them really making that um, first step to bring in that communication because, you know, the, during this Christmas period, they will just really miss talking to you, hearing your voice. So I feel that this is also about communication coming in. And they are also saying here, I can't help mentioning you to my close friends or, or family members. So, you know, maybe whilst they are also there with family, you know, during this time of Christmas, they may actually be mentioning you to their family, you know, or their friends. And just, you know, it may just come up in a conversation because they are in that energy of thinking of you. So I really feel as we move into this Christmas period, Divine Masculine is really got Divine Feminine on their mind, wanting to be with you, wanting to hear your voice again, you know, mentioning you to their friends and family. And really sort of realizing you're the one that they truly want to be with. So they are working towards this life with you. And then your beauty is so captivating that I forget to blink. So this is also about them missing seeing you, wanting to be with you. If you do see each other, you know, for some who may have that communication or getting together, then, you know, they may just be in the place where they're just so mesmerized by your beauty and just really in the place of being so happy to be with you, you know, that they feel like they forget to blink. So that's what the message that I'm really getting here. And the last one is I'm in love with you. So they're saying to you, Divine Feminine, I'm in love with you. You're the one that I want to be with. So wherever they may be on their journey as we are heading towards Christmas, whether they communicate to you and you see them or you, you speak over online or whatever, you know, or they may not say anything yet because they're not quite there. They still need to clear those energies that are holding them back, you know, or whatever the situation may be. What they want you to know as we are heading towards Christmas is that they are in love with you. You're the person that they want to be with. And wherever they may be on their journey, they are working towards this life with you because you're the one who brings them that happiness. You're the one that they want to celebrate with, you know, go away with on that retreat and, you know, have that time with and the one who you know, who they're loyal to. So they are saying to you, I'm in love with you. So wherever they are on their journey, they want you to know that. But these are the messages that are coming in as we are heading towards Christmas. So trust in your journey is the message that's coming through and be in the present moment, you know, really sort of find peace on your journey and give it to God and just, you know, just move into the Christmas time or this Christmas week next week, you know, with peace in your heart, knowing that everything is falling into place as it is meant to and that your divine masculine is in love with you. I hope you have a great day, guys. Love, peace, positivity and light.